Hi, I'm Michael O'Neill, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this. Hey Siri, new task. Running your shortcut. That's done. Create productivity video on YouTube. Intrigued? Job security for the unemployable. Michael, you're so naughty. So what you just witnessed was a couple things in action. Number one, the new iOS 12 Siri shortcuts combined with my to-do list on Trello. So this is Siri shortcuts meets Trello. And the way my brain works, I'll be walking around uh, during the course of the day and I always have ideas that pop into my brain. Unfortunately, I don't get those ideas on paper and they go away. Now those ideas could be tasks that I have to do. They could be new projects or new initiatives. And a lot of times they just flutter away into the darkness. So what I've done is I've developed this combo platter of technology to allow me to capture my brain. <laughs> <coughs> So I've developed this combo platter of technology to capture my brain the moment I have an idea. Now I'm gonna show you how to do that. First, we have to talk Siri shortcuts. Now Siri shortcuts are programmable macros that you can customize with your iPhone. And you can ask Siri to do just about anything you want and then connect it to literally hundreds of different apps or tasks. This is built into iOS 12 on your iPhone. So if you don't have an iPhone, you're kind of SOL. And if you don't have iOS 12 installed, you're also SOL. So let's switch over. I'm gonna show you how I developed this particular shortcut, which is really, really easy actually, uh, and connected it to Trello, which I use for project management. Okay, so let's talk about Siri shortcuts. These came out with iOS 12 and they are not installed by default on your phone. So what you have to do is go to the App Store first on your phone, search for shortcuts. So once you open it, you've got a lot of cool different options. If I look at the gallery here, I just clicked on the bottom right. These are shortcuts that are already built in with Siri, and these are all things that you can say out loud and just say, hey, uh, check on my laundry, or you know, here's a laundry timer, here's set weekend chores, here's add expiration reminder. So if you bought some milk, or you put a new light bulb in, or whatever you want, you can say, hey, this thing is, needs to be changed in six months. Um, fire, uh, fire alarms, things like that. Dear diary, you can add this to a journal. So that's a really cool use of functionality. Uh, read it later if you're online. Let's see, we've got calendar stuff, email schedule to yourself, view meeting agendas, you're running late. Uh, if you're running late to an event, let's see what this thing does. This thing uses calendar, maps, location, messages, and contacts. So what this thing does is if you're running late, you can say, hey Siri, I'm running late to my meeting. It will automatically text everybody that's in the meeting. So if you're in your car and you don't wanna do it yourself, uh, it is uh, you know, obviously a, a quick time saver. So. This is an almost endless stream of opportunity that you have here to create really cool things that will save you time during the course of the day. So for me, I needed something that I could use on the fly. And I knew that I wanted to use Trello for project management, but there are a lot of different project management tools. So you shouldn't feel like you're locked into Trello. I'm sure it could connect with Slack and, and your calendar and just about anything else you can think of. So first I said, I want you to dictate text and then stop listening after pause and then add Trello card. What board do I want? I want the ultimate to-do list and I want the list on the Trello board to be notes slash new ideas. And I want you to be uh, position top. That's it. That's all there is to this one. I could take this to the next level and, and add even more functionality to it, but this actually does exactly what I want it to right now. I wanted this thing to be really simple and easy. So how I created it is I looked here. This is a brand new one. Again, I clicked create shortcut right here. And I, I typed in dictate 
And so it gives me an option to dictate text. Great. So now I have uh, dictate text, and then I want you to stop listening after pause. That's it. So that's the first thing I'm going to ask it to do. The next thing I'm going to ask it to do is take that variable, otherwise known as the text I've just dictated, and stick it into a Trello board. So if I look for Trello here, and I have uh, options, I've got get, get details of Trello item, add Trello card, get Trello items, create Trello board, create Trello list. So let's say you already have a Trello board that has a bunch of tasks on it. You could ask Siri to read you all of those tasks for the day, like while you're on the fly. So that could be an example of what I could do after this. But let's say I want, I want to add a Trello card, which is what I did. So now it's going to say, okay, what card do you want? So it's going to dictate text. I want the card to be uh, the name. I want the dictated text. See how it gives me an option to choose that? The board I want is I want the ultimate to-do list. The list I want is notes and new ideas, and that's perfect. That's what I want. I could also get the dictated text. In fact, I'll do it for this one to be the description as well. And then I just hit done and I hit done here. I'm actually going to change this so I can name it and we'll just call this thing uh, Siri training. Okay. And hit done. But the next thing that's important is I want to click this thing. It says add to Siri. And now you have to tell Siri what you're going to say to make this thing work. In this case, I'm going to say something like run demo task. That one. Okay. So now I've got this thing. It says run demo task. It's called Siri training. So now if I just get out of this thing, I don't know if this will work on video, but so you can't really dictate text and do voiceover at the same time. So what I did here is I just clicked the button that we just created. And I would like to demonstrate how this awesome feature works. Now she's answering. It'll flip over. Then I'm going to go to Trello to say, hey, did that thing add to my Trello? So if you check out my Trello, go to the right board, ultimate to-do list, upper left-hand corner. And of course it says, I would like to demonstrate how this awesome feature works. Pretty cool, huh? Now that the item is on my Trello board, I'm going to show you how I manage it with my master to-do list. So if you want to use this exact same Trello board, you can do what I do, which is downloaded it from Scott Friesen at Simple Livity. And he's got a great YouTube channel and they have a great video on the ultimate Trello to-do list and it gives you this exact board. Thank you to Scott. If you want to check him out, here's the link to the Simple Livity YouTube channel. All right, so here's my Trello board, the ultimate to-do list. And just to demonstrate once again, I will, uh, I'll just add something to it. So, hey Siri, new task. Running your shortcut. That's done. Add something amazing to my ultimate to-do list. All right, so there it is, right here. And if you see how this thing's broken down again, uh, I would highly recommend you check out the Simplivity YouTube channel and have a look at how he broke down this board. I don't want to go through the whole thing because he's already done it, but I will tell you how mine is set up. I've got three different properties. So I've got the Solopreneur Hour, I've got Beginner Audio File, and I have Wrench, which is my vintage Porsche YouTube channel which you can go subscribe to right now if you want to. Every one of those has a color associated with it. So the Solopreneur Hour, the brand color is typically yellow. The Beginner Audio File brand color is green. And the Wrench brand color is orange. So quickly, if I want to modify any task that I give this list, then I can tell at a glance which ones are for which property. So I can just click on Edit Labels. I know this is Solopreneur Hour. Uh, I know this is also Solopreneur Hour. I have a few that I'm going to do here. So I'll just add these to Solopreneur Hour so I can just see what they are. Also Solopreneur Hour. And then this is actually not a thing. This is basically where the tasks end up. The next thing I'll do is I'll put them somewhere that 
I can sort them later. So trademarkia is something that I'm going to do for my wrench channel. So I'm going to put that under future tasks. If there was today's tasks, like, so let's say that I did this. Um, this would be one of my tasks. I might have thought of it yesterday and said, hey, Siri, new task. Running your shortcut. Done. Create productivity video on my YouTube channel. So now that's here, right? And I can add a label to it if I want. And uh, that'll be yellow. And I'll move it under today's tasks. So that's what I'm doing right now. So another thing, couple things I've done is I've done ask for YouTube subscribers. I really would appreciate your subscription. And send an email for YouTube subscribers. So I've added almost 250 people to my YouTube just by asking for it, which has been really awesome over the last uh, uh, couple of days. And I'm trying to go to 1,000 subscribers. So if you see this in the future and I have over 1,000 subscribers and you're one of them, thank you for subscribing. Anyway, I haven't put on all my like major product projects into this thing yet. I actually have other boards that I'm going to be transferring over, like in terms of the big kinds of projects that I want to do, so, um, that I'll be moving to this board, which will just leave me with the like sort of master what to do list. One of the other real benefits of this is that you can, you can use it and share this with someone who's like a virtual assistant for you. And they can help you with these tasks, tasks as well. And they can help you with these tasks as well. So anyway, that is the quick overview. Oh, one thing I will show you that is kind of cool, um, under content calendar for Wrench, you'll see I have an attachment here. You can attach other tasks to a project. So right now I've got this meet with Jay, who's my partner uh, on my wrench videos. And you'll see that's waiting for input. So actually, I did meet with him the other day. And I'm still actually waiting for him to, to get back to me. So that's why it says waiting for input here. But if I want to, you can just click attach and attach any of the things that you've been kind of working on, like productivity video, add new content, blah, blah, blah. So if I went back to, let's see, um, add content to solo our videos like right here right and i hit attachment i can look at trello and then say oh uh create con create productivity video for my youtube channel so now that actually has this attachment uh here so now add content to solo our youtube create new videos this is one of the videos so as i come up with new um let's say that i made this thing like create 15 videos for Solopreneur Hour Q1 YouTube channel, right? And then as I'm walking around during the course of the day, I get an idea for a video. I've got one that's 10 ways to monetize your podcast video. So here's another one that I created. So I could theoretically go here and go Trello and cards, 10 ways to monetize your podcast video. So these are these could all be different video ideas that I have. And then within them, within them, if I have certain things that need to get done, if I really wanted to break this thing down, I won't. But if I had a VA that said, hey, here's all the components you need. So I could be like, look right here, productivity. They, they could say, you need to have a screen flow video, a, an iOS vid, and an intro. If I wanted to break, I could literally break all of those tasks down individually if I wanted to. Hey Siri, new task, create iOS video to demonstrate shortcuts. Okay, so now that's here. I can pop my label on it and go, okay, so that's there, that's awesome. And then within these created like productivity videos, I know that I need to make an iOS video. Okay, do you understand? So do you start getting how this thing can barrel down? It's really cool. So if I do this, and then create iOS video. So now I've got sort of content within content within content because this also has a task on it which is um, attached. So you can see how you can really drill in and get exactly the things you need so you don't leave a lot of stuff behind. You might need to order lighting or something, right? So let's say that I needed some lighting to record these videos. I might put that under waiting for input you know, because I'm waiting for delivery from Amazon. Or that could be literally, I could make another list here and just say, um, waiting, uh, waiting on delivery. So if I'm doing like a, a review for beginner audio file or something, and I've requested the units, I'm waiting for them to be delivered before I can actually add the task 
to uh, my life. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. So there, dudes and dudettes, I hope you feel more productive now. I certainly do. Uh, this is an amazing way to dump my brain and organize it so I can look at it every single day. Although it's a bit, a bit terrifying, if I'm being honest, uh, looking at my brain every day. Uh, brand new YouTube channel, this is. This is a new thing for me. Obviously, many of you know I've been a podcaster for a long time. And uh, my, my medium is audio. So I have microphones like this around and, and, and all over the place. But video is new to me. And uh, I hope you like it. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments. If you could, I know everybody asks, but I'm going to ask you to subscribe to this channel if you could. And uh, smash that notification bell if you feel so inclined. You know, thumbs up, whatever, whatever you do. If you could do all the things. If you could just check all the boxes and do the things and all the stuff. Maybe do a backflip. Have a pizza delivered to me every Thursday. Uh, you know, work out every once in a while. Jump and do some push-ups. It'll make you feel better, not just me. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.